Greetings to you all this morning. May the joy and love of Jesus Christ abound in your hearts. I don't know about you, but there's a question I ask myself on a regular basis. Am I behaving in a Christ-like fashion? At the same time, I ponder, what are the marks of true Christian conduct? And as always, we can turn to Paul, reliable Paul, who gives us this in many of his epistles. But there's one that I find particularly uplifting, and that is from Romans chapter 9, sorry, Romans chapter 12, verses 9 to 17. Nine verses with 22 short but imploring instructions on good Christian conduct. They're a huge challenge, but we need as Christians to live up to them to desire them deeply, and to relish them in our hearts. And so this morning I'm going to read just the first two verses from that section. I implore you though to read all nine of them and to read them repeatedly. They are very worthwhile and adherence to them will be very rewarding. Paul says to us, let love be genuine, hate what is evil, hold fast to what is good, love one another with mutual affection, outdo one another in showing honor. Thanks be to God for his word. We need to obey all 22 of those instructions. And if we do, we'll be showing the highest and greatest form of Christian conduct. Perfect adherence, as John Wesley admonishes us to do. And Christian conduct starts with me. I need to be the example to others. Honorable and loving, whoever I come into contact with. Even some of those I may not like. And so I want to share just two points with you very quickly from that this morning. And perhaps at the opposite end of the instruction, I want to talk about love and I want to talk about hate. Let love be genuine, Paul says. He's talking about agape love, that Greek word that shows us the highest form of love. It's that kind of love that Jesus demonstrated on the cross, giving his life for us. The New Living Translation says that verse very well for me. It says, don't just pretend to love others. Really love them. Jesus never pretended to love us. He loved us with all his heart. Hence, he died on the cross for our redemption and to bring us to resurrection, to eternal life. We need to show that love to all others, regardless of how we feel about them. Whether we show little or no affection for some people, even if we dislike some people. Our desire should be betterment for all others. It should come deep from our hearts, and we need to do something about it by showing them true Christian conduct, all 22 of those instructions that Paul has given us. And then Paul says we need to hate evil. Whatever is opposed to agape love, as the King James Version says, we need to abhor sin. Anger is one of the seven deadly sins. But there are times when it's okay to be angry. And it's okay to be angry towards sin. Again, Paul, in his letter to the Ephesians, chapter 4, verse 26, says, Do not let the sun go down on your anger. What he's saying is, 
Do not let the sun go down on your anger towards sin. We must always show anger towards sin. We must never accept sin as sometimes sadly in this world is happening. Sin sometimes is seen as okay. So dear friends, maybe being a Christian is not as difficult as we think it is. Let us show love to others as we would want them to show love to us. Mutual affection and kindness at all times. And I think of that imploring verse from Micah, chapter 6, verse 8. Do justice, love kindness, and walk humbly with your God. May you grow in the agape love of God and turn from all forms of evil. Amen.